today we're going to be making some candles. This is a beginner video. This is an intro that's going to help you get started making your own candles at home. So if that sounds like something you want to do, stick around. I've got the full tutorial coming right up. Hey, I'm Sarah. You're watching Creative Ramblings, where I share simple, inspiring projects. Today, we are going to make these beautiful, simple candles. Let me show you what you need. When you are new to something, one of the easiest ways to start is getting a kit. So we are going to use this kit from Amazon. I have this link down in the description. Now I have used this a number of times, so my products are well loved, but here's what comes in the kit. You get this metal container and a metal spoon, and we are gonna turn this into a double boiler using a pot of water over a stove. You also get a big bag of soy wax flakes. You get a whole bunch of wicks that already have the metal on the bottom. You get these little stickers, which help you stick the wicks into your container. And this tool right here, which I'm gonna show you how to use this to help place your wick. Now, in addition to these, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a scale because we're gonna measure the wax by weight. We're also gonna add some beeswax flakes. Now, I like beeswax for a number of reasons. It has a lovely honey, kind of subtle scent to it. And when mixed with the soy, you create a really long burning candle. Um, I'm also going to use a scent. I'm going to use this honey almond scent. So not a lot because this combined with this together makes a lovely candle. And finally, you're gonna need a container. We're gonna use this one today. This is an Ikea jam jar, which it's just beautiful. It kind of looks like a little votive holder. You could also use um, little jars like this, really any receptacle that uh, you have. Um, you don't need to go out and buy these. Use a jar that you've already saved. So let's start by weighing our wax. So this is a digital kitchen scale and we are gonna use this to weigh out our wax. I'm gonna set it to ounces, and then I'm gonna weigh out the soy wax first. I'm gonna use everything that's left in this bag here, and you can purchase soy wax in all kinds of different places. This is actually a big box that I just picked up at Michael's. So this is about four ounces of soy wax here. So I'm gonna dump this into my metal container. And then measure out four ounces of beeswax. Beeswax has a much higher melting point than soy wax, so getting it in these pellets allows it to melt just a little bit quicker as opposed to the big bars that you can get. But we are just going to put this all together in here and now go create a double boiler. So I've got a pan on the stove with just a small amount of water on it. I'm going to bring that to a very low, slow boil. Got a hot pad here because everything we use is going to get very hot. Then I'm gonna take my container filled with wax and I'm just gonna set it in here. Now this is gonna move around a little bit so using a smaller pan is really helpful. Then using the spoon, I'm just gonna slowly stir this until um, it all is melted. It's going to take a while. Um, don't leave the spoon in there, it will get hot. Um, I don't want this to be a rapid boil. I really want it to be low and slow. So take your time, let it melt, and then you're ready to make your candle. I'm going to add a little bit of scent to the wax while it's still in the double boiler. Stirring will really well so that it's well incorporated into the mixture. While the wax is melting, let's prep our jar. So we're gonna use this cute little jam jar here. Grab those stickers. 
this little tool here and a wick. So we're gonna take a sticker, put it on the bottom of the wick, and then pull the backing off. And then this just goes in the bottom of the candle. Now what this tool does is it ensures that your wick stays right in the middle when you pour the wax in. So I'm gonna put the wicks wick in through the middle, center this on the jar and kind of pull it tight right through there. So when I'm ready to pour, I can leave this all in place and just pour the wax on the side. So this is ready, let's put the wax in. My wax is ready to go, my jar is ready to go, and we're just gonna slowly pour it in. sit somewhere undisturbed for about 48 hours. You can see it's starting to turn white already, it's starting to harden, but it's not fully gonna set up for quite a while. So leave this piece on, leave everything in place, and we will come back in about 48 hours. So our candle's been sitting and it is all set and ready to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is trim the wick. Then we can move this piece over. And look at that, we've got a beautiful candle all ready to go. I hope you found this video inspiring and you learned a little something today. You are ready to go start making your own candles at home. Candles made with this process using beeswax and soy wax don't emit harmful chemicals into the air around you. They give off a light, soothing scent. And they're really economical. It's a great way to use up those jars that you already have at home. If you liked this video, if you learned something new, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss my next simple, inspiring project. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.